In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can secure your download page. Now, there's nothing worse when you spend a lot of time, a lot of money putting your digital product together than to have people hack into your website and go to your download page and steal it. And sometimes you'll find that your customers, some of the more unscrupulous ones at any rate, will decide to share the download link with their friends or even post it on Black Hat websites. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can prevent this from happening. And there are several ways that you can accomplish this. One way is to sell your digital merchandise via a shopping cart that's set up for digital downloads. And if you do a search in Google for shopping cart digital downloads, you'll find that there are a tremendous number available. Some are free, some you have to pay for, and some are services like OneShoppingCart.com, which is a remotely hosted shopping cart but as you can see here it is also designed to sell digital downloads. Another way is by using this software here DLGuard and DLGuard is a software program that you can install on your website and it ensures that only the person who has actually paid for your digital product can log in and download it and it includes a shopping cart and there's a whole lot of other stuff that comes with it and it supports a lot of different payment processes as you can see here and you can find out more about it at this website here dlguard.com and the final way of doing this and one that's probably the simplest and certainly the cheapest way is to password protect your download directory in cPanel. What you have to do is place your download, your digital product, into a separate directory on your web server. Now you want to be imaginative when you decide what you're going to call this directory. You want to have it so it's not something that people are going to have an easy time finding. So for example you wouldn't want to call it download. What I like to do with my download directories is to give it a random combination of letters and numbers that's going to be very hard for people to guess. And you want to call the actual page that people are going to go to in this directory index.html because then you can just simply send them to the directory and the web browser will automatically log on to the index page. And once you've got that set up, log on to cPanel and then scroll down to where it says security and you want to click on this icon here password protect directories it'll ask you to select the directory and we're going to have it as the document root and click on go and then scroll down to your created directory and click on it I'll click on the link next to it and then you need to do two things first of all you need to create a username and a password so again we'll just give it a username and you know be creative in your username don't just do something that anybody could guess like customer or buyer or something like that so let's call this DL201 and then you want to put in a password and for this you can use their password generator you can see you've got a very strong password here and what you have to do is copy that to your computer's clipboard and then paste it into a text file so that you won't forget it and you can put that in the email that you're going to send to your customers and then once that's done check that box to say I've copied this password in a safe place and click on use password and there we go that's done and then you click here on add stroke modify authorized user
and there we go that's done so we go back and what you can then do because you have to do this backwards you then name the protected directory and we'll call this download area and check this box here that says password protect this directory and click on save and now anybody who tries to go to that particular directory without having the password will not be able to log in and they won't be able to steal your product something that you should do over time is to change the name of your protected directory and to change the password to give the people who bought your product enough time to download it but not enough time to share it with their friends or post it on some black hat website.